Hey guys, uh, today's series is a special one. Uh, this is called Anybody Can Draw. Now, uh, many people are going to laugh on this because the fact is that I am not professionally trained uh, to draw. I am not an artist, full time artist. But I have, over the years, I have improved my artworks and I have realized that art is basically shapes. Like, these are the shapes that we all pretty much know and we have all grown up drawing and no one cares how perfectly we draw these basic shapes. And no, I'm not going to bore you with how to draw these shapes perfectly. But what I mean is, like when you see a picture, for example this one, right? When you see this picture, what is the first shape that you recognize? First shape that stands out. It is this, right? It is an oval shape. Oval shape with a base, that is. I am going to share all my mistakes also, so you guys can also feel and see that it's okay to make mistakes and that we learn from it so I'm not perfect I'm not claiming I'm perfect so this is pretty much the shape of a pineapple right and then there are these leaves these leaves are basically triangles right of different sizes that is all you have to draw it here it's elongated triangles I doubt anyone would have explained drawing to you like this so you might get a bit anxious but it actually works why it works because our eyes why it works because our eyes notice shapes that is all a picture is all about a picture is a shape right so here I have drawn different types of triangles long some long ones some narrow ones some broad ones but these are all effectively at the end of the day they are all triangles you can stop whenever you feel you have had enough triangles here i'm not trying to copy it exactly i could have but i'm not copying it exactly okay now after that if you notice there are hexagons on this right pineapples are have hexagons in them so this is what you normally see when someone draws a pineapple, right? This is a bad one, but I am just trying to explain it to you that this is how you do it. You just make a miniature version of this and keep replicating it and you will have a pineapple. Another example of shapes is this very popular character, which is Spongebob. Right? And guys, you don't need an apple iPad or an apple pencil to do all this. You can do this pretty much on any, any surface. Like with a pencil and a paper, a pen and a paper, anything will do. As long as you are ready to observe things and pay attention to the shapes. Everything. Again, I am repeating myself for like a million times everything is a shape and i learned this quite late in my life and i'm thankful that i learned it and it has it has saved me a lot of time in practicing drawings and the drawings come out pretty well so this is spongebob square pants and the first shape that you notice in him of course it is the square right so first you draw the square we are just outlining guys, this is not the final one, I am going to make a series of different episodes where I am going to show you different characters, different things that which we can draw through this method, okay. So this is the first shape, what are the next shapes that you observe, that you can right away they stand out, those two big round eyes, right. The eyes are exactly similar. So you have to make them similar. That's the only catch here. You can also use something circular that you have lying around. But also notice how the shapes are placed. 
द आईज आर नॉट अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर गाइज राइट द आईज आर नॉट अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर दे आर एक्जैक्टली जॉइंट सो यर दिस इज अ रॉन्ग शेप दैट वी हैव ड्रॉन आई हैव ड्रॉन इट जस्ट टू शो यू हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लेसमेंट ऑफ शेप्स इज दिस इज अ स्क्वेर इन साइड इट वी हैव टू सर्कल्स एंड दो सर्कल्स आर जॉइंट सो यू द ईजियर वे आउट इज टू फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द जॉइंट एंड देन ड्रॉ सर्कल्स अराउंड इट सो आई हैव टू आईज यर and then there are two circles within the circle so we are going to draw those two circles now this is the circle and there is one circle inside it this is the circle there is one circle inside it the inside one is black okay this is a very rough one please don't judge me on this there are three lines on top of each eye two lines facing outwards one facing upwards exactly right there is always symmetry guys symmetry and shapes that's the only thing the, the two eyes are exactly the same that is the symmetry there are three eye eyebrows on both the eyes that is also symmetry okay and we'll break the symmetry also at times with this circles abstract circles that you are seeing okay the next step next step this is the big curved smile so we will draw a big curve okay then then you have the smile sorry then you have the teeth we will draw the big curve smile then you have the teeth the teeth are two squares then then you have this wavy w in below his teeth we will give him that to a w these are this there are some shapes that you can't define but you will have to draw them these are this mushroom looking shapes now we'll draw them okay here and here and there are exactly three dots guys if you see see symmetry i was talking about symmetry those are the three dots so we will also draw three dots okay now in this face what do you think is missing of course other than the colors because we are not going to color this right now i'm just trying to explain to you the shapes and the importance of shapes so there are circles is here here and there abstract okay there are shadows inside them we'll go over all of that in future episodes when i am going to teach you all of that in detail now you also notice that the square is not a perfectly uh, straight lined square so you have to create those waves but you have to create those waves around your square only and once you are done you have to erase your square and there you have your sponge bob square pants pretty much have the face there and if you put a color on this if you color this with yellow i'm pretty sure it's going to look it is looking a bit like sponge bob so there i think i have explained it in pretty depth in the first episode itself in this episode i'm going to tell you how we can draw amazing things just by focusing on shapes because you know what guys